What's up everyone, Trent here. Along with Julia. Welcome back to the channel and we're checking out the first trailer for The Acolyte, the new Disney Plus Star Wars series. This sounds so cool. Set in the High Republic era, the Ooh. first live action stories taking place. We're in phase three in we, the novels and comics at the moment. We so are, we are. yeah, it's going to be exciting to see how it goes. Yep. Let's check it out. Let's go. Close your eyes. Aww. Your eyes can deceive you. We must not trust them. Nope. I love that purple. Tell me what comes into your mind. Life. Balance. Darkness. I see fire. Oh, oh. yes. Carry on, yes. Hmm. Someone is killing Jedi. It doesn't make sense. Yellow lightsaber. Ooh. What happened? I sensed the darkness. Cool. In nature light. Darkness rises. Right? It's gonna be good to see so many Jedi. Hmm. Oh. This is about power, and who is allowed to use it? Oh! Whoa. What is that? Oh! <laughs> oh, the oh. yellow savers! That's so good. Wonder who they're going up against. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah. Oh, that looks That really was cool. a really, really simple little tease and mm. great way to show the Padawans, the younglings, yeah. learning to, to visualize and utilize the force. And, mm. you know, you've got the positive, the light side, and then fire. I see fire. I oh, see that's, yeah, that's death. ominous. Yeah. Mm. Um, Carrie Ann Moss. <gasps> Trinity herself. Trinity herself is now in the Star Wars universe. Yeah. It's <laughs> and um and Daphne Keane as well. Mm. I yeah, I'm loving loving the High Republic designs, the very bright, very it's it's got that high fantasy vibe to it, yeah. very regal. It it definitely feels like a a universe at its peak. Mm. Like everything is very crisp in that regard. And it's going to be interesting to watch it fall down. Well, I know that sounds so weird. But... Well, the premise the premise for the Sith throughout the High Republic era that I'm aware of so far is that they've just been in hiding. Mm. They've been kind of dormant during this era for phase one to three. The Nihil have been the big bads. Mm. And they've now got the occlusion zone um, after the fall of Starlight Beacon. But this seems to... I'm not sure when this is taking place in, in correspondence to that. Mm. It'll be um, interesting to see where it sits in the comic and the novel universe for yeah. the stuff that they have recently brought out for High Republic. Because there, there were no real High Republic Jedi in there that I recognise. But, I mean, we got the Wookiee. We got a Wookiee yeah. Jedi. Um, and the yellow... Say, uh, uh, the yellow, the yellow, yellow blades. Yellow they blades look so be, good. If we were ever to make, like, lightsabers, you would either... You would be tossing up between yellow and red. No, it's yellow no? and purple. Yellow purple. and purple? Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm a, I'm a mace guy. Um, the 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 setting is interesting in that we aren't seeing too much of the the um, the Jedi within their temples. Mm. We're seeing them very much. I'm going to assume it's the outer rim because that's where a lot of the a lot of the um, the a lot of the High Republic stuff has been going on. Uh, seemingly. Looks like potentially a Sith Lord coming through. It could just yeah. be a a dark side user, someone who's proficient um, in the proficient in the dark side of the Force with the red blade. Doesn't necessarily mean Sith. I that was a very interesting, very interesting ending to have that red blade coming through yeah. and doing the <laughs> because because it's going to be interesting to see whether rule of two, but to see whether it is one or many. Or like the balance that it's going to be, because yeah. that is so key within 
the whole story is maintaining this. And again, this is all going to be setting. This is all going to be setting up the prequels. It's going to yeah. be leading to that because Yoda is alive in this, as we've seen in the in the various media in the High Republic. He's mm. very much alive and and thriving. Um, so yeah, it's it's very, going to be interesting. A nice little tease, not giving away too much. Not giving, but it's it's a quest for power. Yes, that's going to be. The interesting part. That's going to be the interesting part, especially if it's not focusing on necessarily the balance of the force, but how power corrupts or how power is used to benefit. And that's one of the things that has been seen previously is that even a Jedi can turn to or abuse his power. He can turn to the dark side. He can abuse his powers. He can be corrupted. Mm. And that's, yeah, it's going to be interesting because this is the peak for... The Jedi. Jedi, yeah. This, this is, is this is them peak thriving. Jedi, yeah. Um, but it looks like we're getting plenty. There were heaps when they were doing their investigations yeah. and going through in all their robes. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. And seeing the seeing the roles of um, of seemingly an assassin. Yeah. And the the lady in purple. I'm not sure what her role is. I I, I kind of thought she was a bit nefarious at first, but. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not if... entirely sure. Costuming in, the, in this is going to be absolutely beautiful, and I'm yes. so keen and here for it. Yes. Very interested. Got me yeah. intrigued. We are intrigued. Tell us your thoughts on the trailer in the comments. I'm Trent. I'm Julia. As always, keep, keep it, it nerdy. nerdy.